Hey babes, welcome back to the channel. Today I have some exciting news. So if you can't tell, I should have put it on the screen. It is December 31st, so it's New Year's Eve. I have Momo in the back and then Sama is out here pumping gas because we're going on a little road trip. It's not gonna take us very long to get there, but we're going to Charleston, South Carolina. And if you're wondering, no, we don't have any family there. No, we don't have any friends there. I do have this girl I know that lives in North Carolina, but I didn't tell her I was coming. So I feel like it's kind of last minute to have her come now, but we're so excited. So we just filled up because Charleston is only like a five hour drive. So that should take only like a full tank in my car and then we should be there. But I'm so excited. I meant to start the vlog earlier, like when I first got up and was getting ready and stuff. Or I should have started it last night, but y'all know me. Like I just be procrastinating. I also laid my wig down this morning and I'm feeling confident about it. I think every time I do it, like I get better. Cause when I put it on for the beginning of this week, it looked terrible. And then today it looks better. And I'm proud of myself about that. But um, yeah, I just want to go ahead and start the vlog and get ready for a Ray family road trip. Making a pit stop so I can use the bathroom and Momo can get out. We're already in South Carolina. We're only like an hour away and Simon's going to take over from here so I can finally talk to y'all. But I got to use the bathroom so bad. So let me go in and use the bathroom and come back out. Guys, I am back in the car. Just finished walking Momo, let him drink some water. And we really don't need any gas. Like I said, we're like an hour away and we're not even, we may be slightly under half a tank. So I think we're good. And then Sam just went to throw away some trash. Cause I got a lot of trash in my car, not even from this road trip, but just trash in general. But yeah, we're basically in South Carolina. Right, Momo? 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 He's so focused on his daddy, it's ridiculous. I don't know why he think he ain't gonna come back. Trust me, your daddy gonna come back. But yeah, he explored these little woods around here and he was excited. And I'm kind of mad about my eyebrows because I went and got them done last night. And of course my eyebrows go in like really thick and I like that. So I was like, just shape them up. And she just didn't get the arch as crisp as most people can get it. And I don't know why, because my eyebrows were bushy. I'm talking about thick when I went to her, so it doesn't make sense. But yeah, guys, we're about to get on the road and I'll see you guys when we check in at the hotel. Oh, come here, bad boy. Come here, bad boy. Ooh, that flew up here good to Momo Rishi. So guys, as you just seen, we have made it, finally made it to Charleston, South Carolina. So far, I can tell you, I think this is another one of those places that people just do not come because it don't look like there's nothing to do. So we stay in a hotel close to the airport. So you'd be thinking, oh, it should be a lot of things around because it's close to the airport. Not really. I think there's two other hotels around here and there's a gas station in front of us. Um, but I haven't seen any like fancy restaurants or I haven't even seen them all, but we just got here. So I'm sure we'll explore a little bit. Um, to drive, I just wore, you guys know my like airport outfit is always black on black. And I did black on black today, even though we drove. Got my little Adidas pants, my shoes my sister got me. And then thank you Denver Art Museum because I love this shirt. I love the fabric, I love everything about it. And it's black so can't beat it. But yeah, we finally got here. Whew. And that was an easy check-in process too because, oh yeah, I'm a Marriott Boing Boy member. So whenever we go out of town, we always stay at hotels that are within our membership. And so it makes check-in and check-out so easy. So you know how typical standard like check-in times is 3 p.m. When you're a member, you can change it to as early as 8 a.m. You can check in whenever you want and they'll have your room ready. They also give you a mobile key. So right now the key is actually hooked up to my phone. So all I had to do is tap it and it'll unlock the door when we get here. Um, so, so far the hotel is nice. Like I said, it's just the area that's not really nice, but the room is beautiful. So let me give you a tour. Okay guys, so this is the view from the front door. You walk in, you have your little couch here. And this is like a studio. So um, this is like a studio. So it has like everything in here that you would need to like live in it, I guess. And then of course we brought Momo's bed, but he loves sleeping with us. So he'll probably jump up in ours. And then they have his little desk here, which is great because I brought my laptop because I still have some work to do or some things I could be working on. And then this is the view. Ooh. I hate that it's hidden behind the desk, but it's okay. So it looks like, oh God, I can't even get down there. Our view is of the pool and the tennis court, but they're kind of blocked by all the stuff on this table. 
And then as you come around the little L here, you have the bed. I guess it's a better view over here. And then you have a tiny TV. And then now we get into the real money maker. I love this like offset bathroom because this makeup and hair room and then this, this is where you'll take your showers. Like I love like double bathrooms. I don't know if that's what that's called, but I like when you have a section outside of the bathroom and a section inside the bathroom. Yes, ma'am. And then of course a studio would not be right without a fridge, a microwave and a toaster. I mean, yes, ma'am. And this is the perfect size. I mean, it's not gonna, we're gonna be here for a long time. They even have little, at first I didn't even see this. Yes. Come through residence in. And I wanna say, they even have a dishwasher. If I had known that, I could've worked dishes and everything. So y'all, I would recommend if you travel at least three times a year, become a member at like the hotel you like to stay at because it only makes sense for the perks you're going to get. Like by coming on this trip, we're basically getting points and everything toward our next trip. So if you're not a member for like these hotel stays that you've been doing, honey, what are you doing? Become a member and get some perks. But um, yeah, we're probably just going to cool off a little bit. I'm hungry. I also want to change clothes and I want to see how close the beach is because Momo is gonna love the beach he's gonna love the beach so yeah i guess i'll holler at you guys a little bit later y'all we got settled in we got checked in we had to leave momo because we need to go get some food we are starving um and luckily there's a bonefish grill like 0.1 miles away so we're just gonna walk to it um and then we'll come back we'll take momo to the park and then simon really wants to go to the beach today too with momo so we're gonna take him to the beach and then we're gonna go to dinner tonight at like eight. Luckily we got here early, it's only like 2.30. Oh, there's a whole little shopping center behind this hotel. Well, know where I'll be. But yeah, Ooh, I'm so hungry, I'm starving. I just can't even wait. I think I already see the restaurant. And I've been to Bonefish Grill once before, but I can't remember what it was like. So I'm interested to try it again. But so far, as you guys can tell, like, we're not working with much in this area. But I'm excited still. Y'all, something I really did not expect is how freaking hot it is here. Like, do you see how the sun is beaming off of me? It is so hot here. Then y'all know I wore black on black, so I am burning up. But um, we made it. It was literally 0.1 miles away. That was not a long walk. <sighs> but yeah, I just want to update y'all. It's so hot. So when I get back, I'm probably gonna change into a dress really cute dress shout out to my auntie but um yeah it's too hot to wear black on black ah so guys we are back that food was delicious you saw the pictures on the screen and then i had the bright idea of why don't we walk up the stairs it's we're on the fourth floor it's only four floors in this whole house whole building so i was like let's just walk from the first floor to the fourth floor and man i am out of breath so that means i am out of shape but uh, we'll just kind of take a little load off. Then we'll take Momo to the park and then we're going to the beach, to the beach. So y'all, it is several hours later. Um, I think the last clip we had just got back in from eating. So now we just woke up from, well, Simon took a nap. I kind of just watched TV, um, took a shower and now we're getting ready. I know Momo hates us because our initial plan was to like walk him at the park, which we still may do, but it's like super dark outside now. So I know he's like, I never want to come on another vacation with my family. But um, I think we're still gonna take him to the park and still try to take him to the beach. But we do have dinner, or we wanna have dinner at eight, so we'll have to come back here with him and whatever. But um, yeah, so I haven't finished getting ready yet. I am gonna put on a little bit of makeup. Y'all, I'm so mad because I've run out of contacts. And if you know me, you know I'm planning to get LASIK surgery soon, like LASIK eye surgery soon. So um, I don't wanna buy any more glasses. I don't wanna buy any more contacts. I almost am tempted though, just for picture reasons, to buy like trial pair of contact lenses from just like a optometry shop. I know they're closed now and they'll probably be closed while I'm here, but I should have bought some trial lenses from somewhere for like $10 or whatever, but I didn't. So I'll be in my glasses this entire weekend, not looking forward to it. But yeah, I just wanted to come and update you guys. I'm gonna show you my outfit once I completely get done getting dressed so that way you get the full like effect. But y'all, I'm in glasses though. For New Year's, I'm in glasses. I'm trying to enter the new year with new vision and your girl is wearing glasses. Anyway, let me get dressed. Let me finish getting ready. 
So y'all, that's the best I could do setting y'all up. But I have my whole makeup bag here. And since we drove, I didn't have to get rid of anything. All full size products I need. But um, since my eyebrows are already done, I'm just gonna lightly fill them in with my pencil. You guys knew I know I use the Benefit brow pencil. I think it's in the color five or six, color six. So it's like a chocolate brown color. And I'm just gonna fill them in a little bit. I just really wanna define the shape because like I told y'all, like my eyebrows are normally way more defined than this. And I know I went in kind of late yesterday, girl, but you didn't really have to mess me up like this, honey. You could have just said it instead of just letting me walk around like this. So yeah, that's literally all I'm gonna do to my eyebrows. I just wanted to make them a little bit darker. Uh, and I got some new concealer. I actually got a re-up for Christmas. And I think it's the Tarte, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I knew I had another scrunchie somewhere. I was looking for this scrunchie earlier. And y'all, I brought lashes, but I ain't got no lash glue. And I ain't wearing no contacts, so I probably wouldn't even put those on. I'll just worry about trying to have my face beat to the gods. So I bought this Laura Mercier concealer. I think I had this when we went to, um, y'all know what I'm trying to say. If you look at my blogs, you'll know I said I had bought this for the trip. But now I'm looking for the one I got for Christmas. I'm just gonna mix them together and do a light face because, um, because they're not making us really wear masks. At least I haven't seen it so far, but I'm gonna keep wearing mine just cause of Omarion, honey. So I'm just gonna keep wearing mine. Yeah, I'm mad. I have on like a nude bra and I did that because you can see it at the back, but I also had these nude earrings, so I was like, this is fine. But I wish that it had a thinner strap. It's super comfortable, but it needs a thinner strap. And then another death to me, wearing glasses, I have to take them off to do my makeup. So see this little light beat girl it's really nothing and to put my eyeshadow on i literally had to keep my glasses on so that's why i only put on one color i mean they don't have that external mirror here that i could pull closer to see so it's like i just kept it neutral with one color but the color is cute um but i know i'm on vacation but i can have a little fun right also the new year is coming in so dossier i brought you along with honey so i brought this perfume so we can unbox it together because it's the new year, honey. It's a new me. I have a new last name. I have a new house. I have not a new man, but my husband, honey. So to impress all those things and to congratulate myself for all those things, let's unbox this perfume. So let's see what I got this time. So I got floral grapefruit this time. The notes are grapefruit, pear, black currant. The middle notes are hyacinth, jasmine, and lilac. And the base notes are orris, musk, and amberwood. It's based off of the Chanel Chance Eau Tender Eau de Perfume. It's at 18% concentration. So you know how this is gonna go. I'm about to pull her out the box. She looks like this. Again, it's floral grapefruit. And we're gonna see what she's giving. Cause she may be my new year's scent. So let's see. Oh, this smells good. I know I sound shocked, but I really am. <laughs> Cause like sometimes these floral whatever, whatever, like they don't be hidden with me, but the grapefruit I think is the kicker for me. Cause y'all know I love fruity stuff. So this is like outside and fruit together. And it works really well. I'm gonna give this a four out of five stars. And you guys for Christmas. Eee! I also got the Tom Ford Bitter Peach, y'all. This fragrance is unmatched. Sorry, Dossier. This perfume, great. Four out of five stars. Tom Ford Bitter Peach. Off the freaking thing. If they make a dupe to this, please everyone go buy this. You are going to love this. If you're the same as me, you like 
like outside and fruits and flowers and stuff, you are going to love this scent. So if they ever make a dupe to Tom Ford Bitter Peach, please go out and buy. And it smells so good, I normally end up spraying like way too much. But just because I want to be at B-I-T-C-H and I don't like for people to really know what I'm wearing, I'm actually going to spray this too. So that way they kind of get in two different scents. They smell great together too. That's what made me go ahead and mix them. So yeah, now I just got to finish getting ready because Momo is mad at us. So I'm going to put some lotion on and we'll be ready to hit the road, Jack. I'm also going to put some lip gloss on because my lips are jacked. We made it to the beach. We're at the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks haunted, doesn't it? <laughs> like, we just got here too late. You can't see anything. Like, we walked around just an inch. You could see the water, but you can hear some boats out there too. But it's too dark and scary to just walk around the whole beach. So, we'll have to come back tomorrow. So, now we're trying to see something else to do with him. Oh, y'all hear that? That's the boat horn. But yeah, I'll come back because I thought we were going to vlog this. But girl, it wasn't even worth pulling the camera out. It's just too dark right now. But yeah, we're going to figure out something else to do with him because we just ate not too long ago. So I feel like he doesn't... Momo just ate too. So it's just like there's no reason for us to sit and eat and just have him sit there with us while we eat. So we're going to figure out something else to do. Soundstripe. So y'all, just something to keep in mind. I know me and Sam like to go like out of the box, like go to places people do not think of going for like celebrations and stuff like that. But mark my words never come to Charleston, South Carolina to celebrate the new year. Don't even come to celebrate your birthday if you are my complexion or darker. Because uh, I asked my friend who stays in North Carolina and she was like, yes, yeah, South Carolina is not as fun. And I can tell. Also, it's a very historic, like it's very traditional and rich in culture. So a lot of the things you may want to do will be done in the daytime like going to museums um they have some boat rides and stuff like that but like to just hang out as a 20 something year old there is not much to do and so it kind of sucks because me and someone will probably end up watching the new york ball drop on tv and drinking some wine and eating some pizza so guys i am laying in the bed me and Simon just figured out like a restaurant to go to because I just honestly can't b not believe that the entertainment scene is so bad here. Just can't believe it. I guess I could because it's South Carolina. Like, you never hear people say anything, like, super crazy is going on here. Like, nothing super fun. So, I guess I can believe it. But, oh, my God. Um, So, we found a restaurant. It is open till maybe 10 or 11. It's like 8 something right now. And I think their last reservation is for 9. So we got to get a move on things, but like, I'm kind of tired of driving because I mean, we drove here all day today. We drove around to the beach and all that stuff. So like, I'm tired of driving. And like the Uber scene here, like someone was saying, it's kind of like, um, it's not as many available drivers. So the prices are kind of higher. Um, but I don't know. I feel like with the time it is right now, like almost nine o'clock, I feel like the prices I've seen on the Uber app so far are kind of, I don't know, honest. Like, I feel like I would get charged that too if I was in Atlanta. But man, we made a bad choice coming here for New Year's. We should have stayed out but at home because that would have been best. But Momo loves it here. Like I was literally telling one of my friends, I'm like, we literally brought Momo to a state for dogs because there's so many parks. There's so many like outdoorsy things that are super fun. So I feel like for a dog, Momo's gonna love it tomorrow when he can go to the beach and he can go run in the park. Like he'll love that. But for a human, it was like, what do you do? But yeah, um, Simon wants to go get something out of the car and then when he comes back, I may call an Uber. He said he feels like driving, so if he wants to take on the burden, that's totally fine with me, but 
either way it go i'm sure we'll go to the restaurant so i'll see you guys then and i'll stop boring you right now <laughs> So guys, good morning. We saw I walk Momo this morning. I also just finished eating breakfast. Simon is in the shower and I'm gonna get in after him. But we're going to the beach. Um, I think we got a recommendation for two beaches. One of them is just a little bit closer than the other, but they look exactly the same. So we're just gonna go to the closer one. Um, and something they told me last night at the restaurant is that they be doing like um, checkpoints here. I've, I used to live in Mississippi. So in Mississippi, like, you know, they would set up a roadblock and it would ask you for your insurance and registration and all that. And y'all, I mean, this is sad to say, but I haven't had my car registered since I lived in Texas. And if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know it's been over a year. <laughs> um, so I was like, we gotta be careful with me driving at night, honey, because I ain't trying to go through one and get in deep doo-doo because that tag has been out of date for over a year. Uh, but yeah, R.I.P. Betty White. Um, I should have said that yesterday, but R.I.P. Betty White. I just can't believe it. It was all over the news yesterday and today, and I'm just like so sad by it. You know, I mean, I didn't know her personally. I didn't even really watch the Golden Girls, but you know, just because she was so close to a milestone birthday, I'm just like so upset she didn't make it through. But um, yeah. But yeah, we're going to get ready and dress, and we're going to the beach. So get excited, because I am. Sounds right. Mama. So guys, we finally made it to the beach that we had been talking about since we came to South Carolina. But um, we were trying to go up to the pier. There's a pier over here, but it's a private pier, so we couldn't. We've been at the beach now for probably like what? 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. Just enjoying the breeze. It feels so good out here, it's so peaceful. Momo likes the sand, but he hates the water, which I'm not surprised by, because when we took him swimming one time, he didn't like that either. So I'm not surprised. He doesn't like large bodies of water, but he loves the sand, his little bit. And he loves all the attention he's been getting, of course. Momo is what I like to call an attention whore. We're just enjoying our time. I didn't realize, I knew sand was messy, but it's really, really messy. So we're gonna have to go back to the hotel. I was hoping we could go somewhere for lunch after this, but we're all gonna be so dirty and messy. So we'll probably go back to the hotel. We're probably gonna have to wa wash more in the shower because he has sand everywhere. He even has sand like around his eyes. So we've been trying to help him get it out his eyes. But yeah. This feels so good. This is my second time at a beach ever. And the first time I went, it wasn't this nice. Like I couldn't just sit down and enjoy myself. I think it was too cold the first time I went, but this is perfect. This is perfect. Mama. <laughs> Never. If you had a treat, he probably would look. Yeah, give me one. Alrighty, guys. So 
we are back at the hotel. Um, we had to make a little pit stop at Walmart because we thought we were gonna take Momo a bath, so I had to buy him some shampoo. And then also, now that I got smaller tatas, I be buying bras all the time. And so for this trip, I was about to put like seven bras in there, and I was like, no, Valencia, that's too many bras, right? So I put, I think, one less bra than I needed, so I had to go buy some. So I had to buy some. And now we're trying to decide what we want for lunch. We passed the Chick-fil-A on the way here and I asked them, I said, are you hungry? Mm, no. And then as soon as we get close, nearly passing the Chick-fil-A is, hmm, I can go for some Chick-fil-A. So I'm not going back there. But um, we gotta figure out what to eat. Cause the lady, when we first checked into our hotel was like, yeah, you can enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. And um, I called down for room service when we checked in and they were like, oh no, we don't have a restaurant on site. So I'm like, what is she talking about? You can enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But anyway, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna eat for lunch. And then I'll probably check in with you guys later cause I'm just gonna chillax for a little bit. I should be editing this vlog, but I'm gonna enjoy my vacation and I'll probably edit when I get back. <laughs> we are finally back up, feeling real rested. If y'all know me, then you know once I wake up for the morning, I hardly ever go back to sleep, so I didn't take a nap. I just kind of sat there, looked at my phone and stuff. But we're about to go eat lunch. It's like at a French restaurant, so it should be really nice. The food should be amazing. Mm. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys about what we're about to do next because I'm hungry. So let's eat. What do you want? Bon appetit. You so y'all don't be mad. But um, I've been a terrible vlogger. So we went to, we tried to go to this restaurant and they were closed for a private event. So we had to find another one. But the little shopping area we're in to like eat and stuff is really nice. This is the like downtown area that everyone had kept telling us about, like to come and have fun. And I see why, you know, it was really cool. I didn't see a lot of lounges and bars, but I think we're on the other side. I think this was more like the restaurants and um, like stores and stuff so i think on the other side of this street there probably was more bars and lounges but yeah we said we're gonna come back tonight and see what the like entertainment scene is really giving you know if it's gonna be fun or not but we just ate at hyman's which is like a world famous restaurant this is what it hyman's yeah it's like world famous we sat at a table that it had on the table Sam samuel jackson sat at that table george seifert sat at that table um who's your guy um the former governor of south carolina sat at that table so they just had little plaques that said who sat at this table before and that was super cool and it's a lot of celebrities that have visited storm this thurman. place yeah storm thurman that's the table where the chair sama sat in but yeah, guys, I just wanted to update the vlog because I know I've been a terrible vlogger. And this area is so cute, too. We kept saying, we need to take a picture. We need to do a video. But we just kept walking around. So we're coming back to this area tonight. I'll be sure to vlog it then. But yeah, so now we're just headed back to the hotel. We're going to take Momo for a walk. And um, we'll eat dinner later. Good morning. So we are up. We're going to go eat breakfast. Checkout is at 11. It's currently like 8. Um, I already took Momo for a walk and fed him this morning, so he's good. Y'all, we didn't go anywhere last night. I feel so bad. It was like 8.30. The lunch we had at Hyman's, that food was so filling. We were in like a food coma. Like, we just could not fathom going to eat any dinner. Could not fathom going to go out. Like, like just could not fathom it. And so, we ended up going to sleep super early. And we're just not waking up. And I know my friend Brianna, she was like, y'all need to do something, y'all need to do something since y'all didn't do nothing the other night. And we were going to, like, we literally had it in our mind last night. We're going out, you know, we found the street. Let's just go back. Didn't happen. Sorry. Um, but now I'm about to go eat because I'm hungry. Mama, say hey. Say hey. So guys, we have made it back home. Right, Momo? Say yes. Momo. Momo. So guys, we have made it back home. Uh, we stopped at this restaurant right next to my house to try to get some food because we're starving. I mean, we ate breakfast, but we've been on the road for 
a good four and a half hours now i know momo is so ready to get out of the car he's like so over this like he enjoyed everything but i think he really hates riding in a car for a long time and even though we bring him a bed we try to make it super comfortable for him but he's still like no this took this takes too long um but yeah so that was my i think i'm gonna title this video not so fun new year's because we honestly didn't do anything i was telling my family and friends this is the only time i wish i had a stayed at home like i feel like our other vacations we kind of made the most of it this one just had a little bit of a challenge i don't know why it was just hard to say oh yeah this is fun i mean the food was amazing the hymen place the seafood like the famous place that food was so good um and it put us in a food coma to the point where we couldn't eat dinner and we didn't go out anywhere so that kind of sucks but momo saw the beach and we know he'd be really excited about that and he was he just hates the water i think i told y'all that but y'all, I'm so excited. It's the new year. Happy new year. I'm so happy we made it here together. I'm so happy you guys are safe. You're in good health. And let's just ride out this 2022. Like no matter what COVID brings, no matter what changes in the world, like we're here, we're in the moment right now. So let's just make the best of it. Um, I'm graduating this year as well. So congratulate your girl. I, I finished all my stuff in like March maybe, but I don't walk until May so that's a bummer but at least i finished this year and i'm not really worried about getting you know i don't know i'm just not really stressed about graduating but yeah guys so this has been my new year's eve video i hope you guys enjoyed it again always like comment and share and until next time bye